Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be giving you guys a review of a Four Roses that is not the bottle I wish I was reviewing at this time of the year, being allocation season, but it is a bottle that I think you guys deserve a review on and that's because you're probably going to be seeing them very soon and that is a Four Roses single barrel, barrel strength, and a store pick. Now this in particular store pick is a store pick from Woodman's, but you guys will likely be seeing these store picks pop up all across the US because this is their time where they're doing these store picks and these are usually some high age whiskey at barrel strength which is usually a you know a good deal a good whiskey so I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the mash bills the yeast strains and whether or not you guys should be picking up these bottles when you see them but let's get right into the review now for those of you who do not know Four Roses has five different yeast strains and two different mash bills that they use to make up their bourbons and uh, all these single barrels obviously have the different yeast strains and mash bills that you can play around with and get different flavor profiles. And what Four Roses does is they use all of those different mash bills to blend whiskeys together and make limited editions, small batches, and all the stuff that you guys know and love. Now this in particular store pick is from Woodman's in Green Bay and it is an OESV and I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what the OESV means and what the other recipes are um, just from the best of my knowledge not really looking it up so uh, just kind of throwing it out you the O is always a constant and the S is always a constant so the OESV the O and the S they never change. The O is I believe named after the distillery that they started off in and the S has to do with something else about the whiskey that never changes so you guys will never have to worry about those two letters changing at all. Now the E in the statement there is either an E or a B and the E is their low rye mash bill which this one is and that's 75% corn, 20% rye and 5% malted barley and what I believe the B mash bill is to the high rye mash bill and that one consists of lower corn but brings the rye up to either 32 or 36 percent and usually add a little bit more spice and floralness to the whiskeys that a rye would offer so it's a high rye bourbon um now this makes two really interesting mash bills for their bourbon but that is not the only great thing about their recipes four roses also offers five different mash bills and that is the last letter in the sequence the oesv the v would be the yeast strain that that particular mash bill has. Now this creates 10 different recipes and I will shortly go through them here and give you guys a rundown on what they mean. The OBSB brings delicate, fruity, pear, apricot, spicy, and creamy. The OBSK is rich in spiciness and full body. The OBSQ is floral, rose petally, and spicy with medium body. The OBSO is slightly fruity, spicy, medium body. And the OBSF is mint, fruity, spicy, and full-bodied. So those are all the high rye mash bills, kind of the flavor expectations you could get with the five different yeast strains. Now going on to the OEs, uh, the OESs, that's the kind of that I have here today. This brings us OESV, that's the one I have, which has delicate, fruity, fresh, and creamy notes. Uh, OESK brings spice and full body. OESQ is floral, banana, refreshing, and medium body. OESO is fruity, red berries, and a medium body, and OESF brings mint, fruity, and full body. Basically, the mash bill kind of determines whether it's going to be closer to the fruity aspect or the spicy aspect, and then the mash bills, um, they kind of add other things to it. So it's really a fun game of blending and experimenting. If you guys get the chance to have all 10 of these recipes, I definitely suggest trying them all side by side, it would be a great option. Now, while I'm pouring this, this is a great time for you guys to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not, because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and only you guys can help me get there. So hit the subscribe button because I need to get there by the end of the year. While you guys are down there, leave a comment in the comment section. If you guys have a favorite recipe or what you love from Four Roses, what is your favorite mash bill slash yeast strain combination otherwise known as their recipes uh another thing that i want to bring up just since i noticed uh the corks on these four roses bottles are really cool they kind of have like they're like double parted it goes around the glass and inside the glass so it's kind of like a like a cool little thing that i've never really seen on other bottles so that being said we're gonna go ahead and get right into this one no dilly dallying this particular bottle is 11 years and seven months old now that is a long time for whiskey 
And like I said, the mash bill is OESV, 75% corn, 20% rye, and 5% malted barley. It's 111.2 proof, that's 55.6% alcohol, and I'm super excited to get into this. The color is a nice amber color, not too dark, not as dark as maybe an ECBP, but still a really nice like amber color, so that's really great. And we're gonna go ahead and get it right on the nose. Oh, okay. Okay, so right away, I'm getting peach rings, like the like gel, like the candies, the, like peach rings, like gummy candies. Oh, on the nose, peach rings right away. Definitely a prominent note in this one. Uh, definitely accompanied by a little bit of spice though. It has some spice and it has some floral aspects, almost um, a little bit florally and perfumey, but it does smell sweet in that aspect. Like it's not like a, a rye forward floral. It's more like a sweet florally, if that makes sense. I'm definitely getting loads of caramel in this. I honestly get caramel in a lot of Four Roses recipes and a lot of Four Roses in general. Caramel is kind of like the thing that I get when I'm drinking Four Roses, at least in the sweet aspect of things. It definitely has a lot more than caramel, but there is always caramel there. I can rely on that. Ooh, and a little bit of like a cinnamon roll, kind of like a nice freshly baked cinnamon roll, just like a slight um, bakery-esque, like a slight um breadiness like a slight doughiness but also has like cinnamon in it but it's a sweet cinnamon yeah I, I don't know that peach rings is definitely there though it has like it's an odd because i never normally get that in bourbon at least i haven't yet and this is the first one that i've really gotten that kind of fruit like the peachy um peach rings maybe even a mango type fruit in it but overall, this smells really fantastic. It smells like it's gonna be full bodied and proof isn't really punching me in the face, but it, you can definitely tell that it's cast strength. I mean, it's, you know, 111.2 proof. So not the most high proof whiskey in the world, but it still has a respectable number on it. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get this one on the palate. Okay, right away, front of the palate, lots of that fruit, that mango and that like peach ringiness came to play right away on the front of the palate. But after that, kind of disappears in the background and moves. This is like a very evolving whiskey. It kind of takes you, takes your hand and pulls you along a journey of like things and different things happening in the glass. So the front of the palate brings all that like sweet, um, fruity, light fruitiness and the mid palate has that caramel with a nice finish of like this super robust oak and like honestly something a little floral as well. Yeah, okay. The floralness that comes on the finish and honestly it's kind of in a, a little bit in the mid palette too. It's kind of like this potpourri type ness. It's like, like these dried crushed flowers and that nice like aromatic perfumey but if you were to eat it you know it's not really on the nose it the nose has some floralness but i'm getting this like that's what i would imagine it would taste like if you ate it which it wouldn't be unpleasant it's definitely not unpleasant than this but it definitely has that in there kind of mixes not nice with like that caramely flavor it adds a lot to that fruitiness kind of it's very it's a very bright and vibrant whiskey along with all that like oak and that oak spice but we're going in on another sip with this one rye spice yeah it's almost it's like a whole it's like rye spice in this one which is odd because it's not even the high rye mash bill in this recipe it's just the low rye mash bill in this recipe but i honestly am getting a lot of that like floral and like that spicy rye spice in this one but it's fantastic it really is a really good whiskey the amount of evolution on the palate for this one is like a whole journey and i'm here for it 11 years and seven months definitely doesn't disappoint um it has a wonderful like turn around in the palate it smells fantastic but yeah honestly i think it's fantastic that being said i think it's time to give this one a grade but before we do that we're going to listen to a message from today's sponsor all right everybody as many of you guys know i have been working with a company called wrist mafia i've talked about them before and i'll continue to talk about them because they're a great company and i love what they're doing 
they're coming out with watches and they'll send them to you every single month for just $40 a month. This is a subscription based company and basically they're going to get you watches worth $100 or more. They're going to send it to your door every single month for only $40 a month. Now this is a great deal, especially if you guys are looking to get into watches or if you're just looking to expand your collection. Today I have this outfit on, which is a classic fall outfit. Many of you guys are going to be wearing it this fall to go and impress the ladies, but if nothing goes better with it than this Centro Milano watch from Wrist Mafia. Honestly, like this is a perfect watch to tie this outfit together. It matches so nicely with this flannel and honestly, I love this watch. This is one of the first ones they actually sent me. And I've been wearing it religiously because it's just that great of a watch. And ladies, guys, whoever's watching this, if you guys aren't into watches yourself, but you know someone who is, these make a wonderful gift idea. Honestly, Wrist Mafia offers three and six month subscription packages that you guys can buy and prepay for and get them sent to your significant others or fathers or sisters or brothers house every single month where they'll get the watch and that you paid for for the next three to six months. So that's a great option to go for. It'll get you a little bit of more of a discount. That being said, if you guys are interested in Wrist Mafia, I highly recommend you click the link in the description below. That will bring you to their website where you can choose from many different things that they have to offer. Also, I have a coupon code. It is Bourbon Bar, all caps, all one word at checkout. That'll save you 30% off your first order. So if you guys are interested in joining the Mafia, I highly recommend you click that link. But thanks to Wrist Mafia for supporting the channel. If you guys are interested, like I said, click the link in the description and join the Mafia today. All right, everybody, it's time for the grading portion of this video, and you all know how it works. There are three parts to this grading, on the nose, on the palate, and the value for the money. So we're gonna jump right into this. On the nose, this is a great whiskey. It has a lot to offer, and especially the notes that I haven't really experienced before. So on the nose, I'm gonna have to give it an 8.3 out of 10. But anyway, onto the palate. This is a journey from start to finish. Like I said, on the front of the tongue, it's great, and it changes and develops all the way to the back of the tongue and to the finish. So. Like I said, great, and I'm gonna have to give it an 8.6 out of 10. And lastly, you guys, this is a value for the money. Now, this is an important one because we all know that Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, they're kind of like the bang for the buck thing. But what you guys don't know is that I paid $75 for this. 75 bucks for an 11 year old, seven month bourbon from Four Roses, and it is a single barrel, so everyone's different. And honestly, that's a great price. I would have to give value for the money 8.8 .8 out of 10 and that means that the total grade for the four roses single barrel barrel strength from woodman's and green bay has a total score of 8.6 out of 10 and yeah i mean i don't know what more you guys want me to say about it this is great stuff if you guys have the chance to buy one I highly recommend you do. The price point for this is very similar to that of an ECBP, but depending on your personal palate, it could even be better than an ECBP in your opinion, who knows? But this is a great bottle. If you guys see any of the recipes, I highly recommend you get them. This OESV is honestly fantastic, but I'm super interested to see if I'll be able to get my hands on some other recipes throughout the season and throughout the years. Maybe I'll just be able to get to try them all side by side, which is my hope. So. That being said, that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button down below. And also while you're down there, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. If you guys want to subscribe, you know, watch my videos, hit the bell button. That all helps me and it helps the algorithm. Also comment on the video, like I said earlier, tell me what your favorite Four Roses recipe is and I'll see if any of you guys like this OESV. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next class.